はい、えー、全く新しいオリジナルの IP になります。Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at every upcoming PlayStation 5 exclusive to look forward to between now and the far, far future. Please understand, Sam. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Stellar Blade. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. PlayStation 5 owners will have another action RPG to look forward to rather soon. Stellar Blade puts players in the role of Eve, a young woman sent to Earth to reclaim the planet from a hostile race of aliens known as the Nativa. With big bad boss fights and a meaty wardrobe of outfits to unlock, Stellar Blade is going to be a game for those who want something action packed draped in style. This will be the first non mobile game from Korean studio Shift Up, but from what we've seen so far, they definitely have our attention. Silent Hill 2. We put a question mark next to the date due to Sony and Konami's coy behavior. The marketing for this remake of the 2001 classic has been somewhat scatterbrained. Very little of the game has been shown outside of cinematics, and the brief snippets of combat we've seen were not well received by the public. But between Sony highlighting the game on its 2024 slate and the game recently receiving a rating by the Game Rating and Administration Committee, it might be safe to say it's coming later in 2024. Any later, and we're all likely to end up just as paranoid as James Sunderland. Mary? Until Dawn. No, please, no. We're not sure if Sony wants two horror games possibly cannibalizing each other, so we're hesitant about this remake coming shortly before or after Silent Hill 2. Perhaps it speaks to the confidence behind Silent Hill's return? Regardless, a remake of Until Dawn is scheduled for the near future. Developed by British studio Ballistic Moon, this remake will bring the 2015 cinematic horror to PS5 as well as PC with a handful of improvements. Some of these changes include more contextual animations and a third person camera to make gameplay more streamlined as opposed to the original's fixed cameras. For fans of cheesy horror flicks who have yet to experience this title, it's gonna be a must for you. Looking for me? Concord. Contract site coming up. 15 seconds. Various rumors and leaks have recently revealed that Concord is scheduled to release sometime in 2024, and yet, we still have no idea what the hell this game even is. The game is being developed by American studio Firewalk Studios, a developer still in its infancy. Having been founded in 2018 and not released a single game yet, Concord will be its debut title and yet another shot for Sony to break into the live service market. However, the silence surrounding the game since its vague as hell teaser shown in May 2023 is scaring some players, including us. Hopefully, someone will start talking soon. Here we go. Fair games. It's simple. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. Fair games is in a similar situation as Concord. While we got a beefier announcement trailer than the latter, Sony remains tight lipped as to what exactly players can expect. All we know、Let's、is、go. that this is a co op shooter being developed by Haven Studios, which is consisted of many former staff members from Ubisoft and Google Stadia. Many of the Ubisoft veterans worked on a variety of titles from Assassin's Creed's numerous sequels to the few attempts in making Watch Dogs a thing. So, if you're into those games, maybe there's some promise for you? We'll see what happens when Sony decides to finally come forward about what exactly this game looks like. Whenever they choose to do so. Marvel's Venom. By this point, we're hoping you've played Marvel's Spider Man 2 because it was pretty obvious we'd be getting a Venom spin off in the future. Sure enough, the Insomniac leak confirmed our suspicions. What was somewhat surprising is just how close it is. 2025? Sounds about right, but we're wondering if the mass layoff Sony executed in early March 2024 has possibly affected those plans. 
Insomniac is a colossal studio with some 400 employees between two different offices. Only time will tell if they continue their quick output as they have over the last few years. We're all eager for more of Tony Todd's take on the hulking symbiote, so hopefully any delays are kept to a minimum. Marvel's Wolverine Don't worry, we're not going over every single game that leaked out of Insomniac. After all, we've known about Wolverine since it was revealed in September 2021. Thing is that we were hoping for this game to be out by now, or even be ready to launch in 2024. Alas, the leaked documents show it isn't due until 2026. Who knows if it's going to stay that particular course or if readjustments are already being made. We just hope the team can recover and deliver on a brutally brilliant game with all the snicks and bubs fans have been clamoring for. <laughs> Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. We have long known that a sequel to 2019's Death Stranding was incoming. Only question was when. Well, Sony dedicated an entire quarter of a showcase to showing off Death Stranding 2 back in January 2024. There's something about sentient puppets and more people calling Sam's name when he's just trying to exist, and Troy Baker is still undecided on whether he wants to be the Joker or cyberpunk Gene Simmons. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go around. Whatever is going on, you can expect chaos and more bad beach puns when the game is out sometime in 2025. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Fizzent or Fizent or however it's pronounced. They didn't even say the name of it. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. Death Stranding 2 isn't the only game coming from Kojima. Shortly after its reveal, Kojima and PlayStation Studios head Herman Holst announced another project coming from Kojima and Sony called Fizzent. All that is known about it is that the project will be a new stealth game, something that longtime Metal Gear fans have been wanting from Kojima. And of course, Kojima is touting it like it's some next level form of entertainment. What a card. Hope he never changes. Phantom Blade Zero. Just run away. In 2016, Sony launched an initiative to find developers from various countries. One of the first was the China Hero Project, and it has helped fund projects like Fist, Forged in Shadow Torch. Phantom Blade Zero seems to be another to be born from this program. Developed by S-Game, players will take on various supernatural soldiers and creatures. From what we've seen, you'll be able to use parts of the environment to attack your target, such as wall running up a pillar and diving down for a vicious attack. Sadly, this is all we've seen since May 2023, so who knows what's going on? Sword of the Sea While this is also coming to PC, the only console this game is coming to is PlayStation 5. With a bladed hoverboard, you'll surf across gorgeous landscapes in an effort to restore life in a sandy wasteland. If the vibe feels familiar to Abzu, Journey, or The Pathless, that is because developer Giant Squid is made up of staff who worked on those games. When Sword of the Sea is planning to launch, though, is unknown. We'll have to wait a bit longer to hang 10. Horizon Online Spinoff By the Forge. Petra? Aloy. Regardless of how you feel about the Horizon franchise, many have been curious about the idea of a multiplayer spinoff. Well, this project got leaked way back in 2022 and was officially announced in 2023. Not much is known about it outside of the obvious. It's online multiplayer. 
You can probably expect the game will play like the first two games with weapon wheels, but perhaps with character classes specializing in bows, trap casters, melee weaponry, blast slings, etc. We also know who is developing the game, South Korean studio NC Soft, who is best known for its work on Lineage and Guild Wars. The one you sabotaged? Horizon 3. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. We'll keep this one short and say if you finished Forbidden West and are familiar with Sony's Rule of Three, you know there's a third game in the works to bring Aloy's story to a close. It was hinted that we may be leaving the robot-infested landscape for a spacefaring bout against an incoming threat, but we'll have to see what Guerrilla Games has cooking. It's just going to be sad going into the third installment without Lance Reddick's powerhouse performance as Silence. Rest in peace. Untitled Team Asobi Game A few rumors and leaks have recently revealed that Team Asobi is getting ready to launch a new game later this year. As to what this game is remains to be seen. Neither Sony nor Asobi has said anything, but we can easily determine what it could be. Astro's Playroom has long been regarded as one of the best games on PlayStation 5 as it shows the power of the PS5 and pays tribute to all of PlayStation history from the games to the hardware, marketing, and ecosystem. We wouldn't be surprised if this new game turns out to be a new Astro game. <laughs> Twisted Metal Man, isn't it so great that we'll be getting this game in time for the franchise's 30th anniversary in 2025? Wait, what's that? Are you serious? It got cancelled? What? Well, ain't that a peach? So, the one game I was really looking forward to just got canned. Tell us down in the comments, which PS5 game are you looking forward to the most? And hopefully... Yours didn't get cancelled, like mine just did. Oh, that blows. That blows. But let us know down in the comments anyways, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos every day. I'm gonna go and lie down for a little bit.